track reviews. Uh, hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. I hope everyone in YouTube land is doing fine and doing well and happy. Uh, right now, I'm recording this track review live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash the needle drop. Come join us for our new Music Friday streams every Friday and uh, interviews and some other stuff too when we get around to it. So, uh, Jake... Paul, YouTuber extraordinaire, has a brand new track out. It's been a while since we've heard from him and Team 10, uh, and, and they're usually terrible music. But I haven't really kept up with Jake Paul's YouTube exploits as of late. Is his content getting better? Is it getting worse? I, I really don't know. Is his audience still sticking with him, or are they kind of transitioning out of that and moving on to something else because they're, you know, kind of just like um, not 12 anymore? But Anyway, uh, Fresh Out of London is the title of the new track, as I might have said already. Uh, let's give it a try. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what's going on. It's just two minutes, so even if it's terrible, it's not sucking that much of our lives away. Uh, Jake Paul, Fresh Out of London, ba bam, let's go. Okay. <sighs> we gotta have a talk, man. We could have a talk about this. I mean, you know, uh, I, I know the chat right now is saying that it's not hot, but uh, it, it is a lot closer than you would have thought, you know, like 60-30. It's not the widest margin. And it's actually because the track is not that bad. Um, and again, which is why we have to have a talk. Like Jake Paul sounds like he's been kind of putting in some work. You know, he doesn't sound amazing or anything and his pen game isn't out of this world. But, you know, there were some kind of sticky refrains there the vocal lines were not all that bad. Like he actually has a semblance of flow here. A lot of these formulas everyone's working with right now, which I mean, look, if it's your artistic prerogative to do this, I mean, so be it. But uh, a lot of these formulas are simple as fuck. And while that's not inherently a bad thing, when that is the level that you're operating on, you leave the door open for, you know, essentially some fucking random YouTube bro with a budget to just, jump in and be like, yeah, I'm going to do that. Literally as good as you do it. Now, again, Jake Paul is still relatively uncool and it's not the catchiest song I've ever heard, but you know, uh, in a way, a lot like KSI, like it, it sounds like he's reaching that bare minimum. I mean, the, the production was certainly decent. That trap beat sounded pretty tight and heavy. Uh, that acoustic, you know, arpeggio finger picked intro was pretty ear grabbing. Um, it's not as bad as you would think it would be. You know, I don't love it, but it's a lot better than I expected. Now, is Jake Paul going to improve from here and come out with the next two pimp a butterfly? No, like that's, it's not going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen, but I, I, I don't know. It's definitely not as bad as I thought it would be. If you told me this was some random track from a fucking dude that got a lyrical lemonade music video, I'd be like, okay. Yeah, I mean, kind of, kind of sounds like it or something, but that's me. Those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think about this track. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And uh, over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Jake Paul, Fridge out of London, uh, forever.